Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box for Windows Micro Chords Dialog Overview. Previously, Band in a Box was limited to being able to enter 4 chords per bar. With the new Micro Chords feature that was added to both the Band in a Box main program and the DAW plugin, you can now enter up to 4 chords per beat. This is mostly beneficial in slower songs, because you can have up to 16 chords per bar and you will most likely want chord changes more frequently at slower tempos. But there are also lots of cases where it will work well with faster songs as well. This opens up a lot of arrangement possibilities that simply were not possible in Band in a Box before. In this particular video, we will be going over all the features of the Micro Chords dialog. First we will take a little tour of the Micro Chords dialog itself, then we will check out the features of the dialog in action. So to get started, there are a few different ways we can access the Micro Chords dialog. You can right click anywhere on the chord sheet and choose Micro Chords settings. You can also access Micro Chords from this button within the Chord Options dialog. We also have a couple shortcuts for accessing the Micro Chords dialog. You can type M anywhere in the chord sheet and then press Enter. Or you can simply use the F6 key. Whatever bar you had selected in the chord sheet will be the bar that is selected when the Micro Chords dialog opens up. We can change the current bar with this drop down menu or these two arrows right here. And use this checkbox to disable any chord settings from the currently selected bar. The update button will update the settings in this dialog. You can press this if the chords have been changed. Right below, we have each beat for the current bar selected laid out. Each beat has four cells for the 8th and 16th notes that we can enter our chords into, which we will go over a little later in this video. Directly below that, we can set our rests and motifs. Motifs work very similar to micro chords, except it is just accenting whatever chords happen to be playing. The rest will cause the previous chord duration to stop playing turning the previous chord into a shot. We will also be going over this later on in the video as well. With the drop down menu below, we can change the cells above to triplets. And we can use the set all button to set all four beats to the same setting as beat one. To go back to 16th, just choose 16th from the drop down menu, or selecting auto will set this based on the style that is loaded. Force Enable is used if you do not enter any micro chords in the current beat, but still want a beat of silence instead of the main chord. The Clear button will clear any data for the beat above. This Set Exclude Tracks area allows you to select tracks to be excluded from playing the micro chords. We will also go over this later in the video. We have another area here that we can use to copy micro chords and settings to another bar. You just have to enter the bar you want to copy the micro chords to, the pattern length, and the total number of bars. Set to whole track will set the destination to the whole song. Copy Now copies the micro chords from the current bar to the destination based on the settings here. The Micro Chords to Lyrics button writes the micro chords, including motifs and rests, as bar lyrics, which are viewable on the chord sheet when the bar lyrics layer is selected. Chord Options opens up the Chord Options dialog. And lastly, the Clear Chords section clears the micro chords you have entered on either the current bar or the entire song. Okay, so now that we have gone over the dialog itself, let's check out some of the features in action. We will start off by entering some micro chords. I've got a song loaded right now. It's a demo song for one of our new modern country styles. I'm going to add some micro chords to this demo song. I'll play a bit of the song first just to get a feel for it.
Okay, so we can enter our micro chords directly in the chord sheet here, but we will start with using the micro chords dialog. So I'll just type M into bar two and hit enter. And like I mentioned earlier, each beat has four cells, so we can enter up to four chords on the 16th notes, but I'll just start with putting two chords on the eighth notes. So for example, if I enter C and then D minor in beat one, and then on beat two, I'll enter E minor, D minor. And as I enter those, you can see there is still a C chord here behind the micro chords as it is our underlying chord for that bar. And the micro chords are more so passing chords. So I'll just press OK and then we can give it a listen. And there you go. As you hear, all of these chords are played on the eighth notes for the first two beats. Now, as I mentioned before, these are kind of passing chords and we don't necessarily want every single instrument in the band to play these. So what we could do is have some of the instruments just play the main C chord and the other instruments follow the micro chords. So let's type M again and press enter to bring back the micro chords dialog. And we will use this set exclude track section I showed you a little earlier in the video. And as you can see, it currently says all tracks are included. This means that all the tracks are playing the micro chords. So I'll just click the set button and this brings up a dialogue that lists all of our different tracks. So we'll just start by clicking exclude all. And this means that all the tracks will ignore the micro chords we have entered. But we want some instruments to play the micro chords. So I'll click over here on guitar two, then click include. And I'll do the same for guitar four as well. And then I'll press OK. And you can now see it shows the changes in this section right here and we can press OK again and give it another listen. And that sounds pretty good. It's a lot more subtle than it was before, but I think I want to include the bass as well. So I'll just press M and hit enter, click the set button again, select the bass, click include, press OK, and give it another listen. Sounds pretty good. I'll play it again, but this time I'll solo the bass and the two guitars that follow the micro chords. Earlier I mentioned that you can enter micro chords directly into the chord sheet. This can be done using parentheses. Any chords within the parentheses would be a micro chord for that beat. So just a little reminder, when entering chords in the chord sheet, you use a comma to separate beats one and two or beats three and four. For example, if I were to enter C comma D minor, that would put C on beat one and D minor on beat two. Micro chords also use commas to separate the 8th and 16th notes when the comma is placed inside the parentheses. And a comma outside the parentheses still separates beats 1 and 2. So if I wanted to enter the same thing as we see in bar 2, down in bar 18, we would enter parentheses, C, comma, D minor, end parentheses, another comma to separate the beats, another parentheses, E minor, comma, D minor, end parentheses. And now we have the same here in bar 18 as we have up above in bar two. I also mentioned earlier that you can have up to four chords per beat rather than just two. So I'll show you that now by entering parentheses, C, comma, D minor, comma, E minor, comma, F, end parentheses another comma outside of the parentheses, parentheses, G, F, E minor, D minor, end parentheses, and then back to C. 
and these micro chords are using the same exclude and include of the tracks as it was up here, because this continues until you change it back in the micro chords dialog. So let's give it a listen. Sounds pretty good. Also, if we go back to the micro chords dialog and we look at the section here where it says chord sheet, it actually shows you how you would enter the micro chords in the chord sheet. So you can start by entering them here in the dialog and learn how to enter them in the chord sheet at the same time. You just have to remember to include the comma between the parentheses to separate the beats. So now that we have gone over micro chords, we can take a look at the motifs feature that also uses the micro chords dialog and is very similar to micro chords as well. I'll leave the exclude tracks the same as we had them for the micro chords, so the motifs will play only the bass, guitar 2, and 4. So motifs work very similar to micro chords, except they are just accenting whatever chords happens to be playing. So we are not actually going to enter any chords up here. We are just going to enter checks below in either motifs or rests. So I'll check a motif on beat 1, and then a motif on the end of beat 2, and rests all in between, and a motif for beat 4, and then the rest of the boxes will be rests. So that means just a short little hit will be played by our included instruments on beat 1, on the end of beat 2, and on beat 4. So I'll press OK, and we can give it a listen. Now that sounds pretty cool, but I think I'd actually like to change it so the last hit doesn't actually rest. So I'll go back to the dialogue and I'll remove the rest after the last motif. And just so you can hear it a little more clearly, I'll also clear the exclude track settings we have in this bar. Okay, so we'll give it another listen. That sounds pretty cool too. Let's go back to the micro chords dialog. Just like micro chords, motifs can also be entered in the chord sheet using parentheses. An X for motifs and an R for rests are used just like it shows here in the chord sheet section of the dialog. Okay, so we have had a look at micro chords and we checked out motifs and the exclude tracks section. Below that, we have this button that will write your micro chords as bar lyrics. So you can click it and press yes, and then we'll close the dialog, go to view and chords display and turn on the bar lyrics under layers. And now we can see our micro chords and motifs on the bar lyrics layer. This copy micro chords section allows you to copy the current micro chords setting from the current bar to any other bar in the chord sheet. So if you went to the current bar drop down menu, you can see all the bars that have micro chords or motifs set to them have an asterisk next to them. So I'll just choose bar two and I'll copy that to bar say 13. And I only want to copy one bar. So I'll leave these as one and press copy now. Then I'll press OK, and we now have the same micro chords on bar 13 as we have on bar 2. I'll open the micro chords dialog back up. The last section would be the clear section, which is pretty straightforward. We can clear the current bar of any micro chord settings, or we can clear all micro chord settings from the entire song. And we can also undo that from the edit menu here. We hope you enjoyed our micro chords dialogue overview. Thanks for watching and have fun.